which apparently takes us to the magical forest, which is an unexpected turn of events. But I believe this is the guy we want to talk to. Son of Adam or Dodmer, uh, I don't have time, this is timed. We've already done a lot of really big, really stupid ideas with this one. So let's see if we can take that a step further. Let's see what happens when you grind all the way to level 100. And that's going to take forever because every level now takes forever. And since the game devs seem to have caught on to my alarming interest rate strategy, I'm going to have to put some of this money back into the stock market before we get started. Already I can't help but notice we're seeing bigger gains than ever before, so I think this is a little more balanced. $5 million in McDonald's sound good? Sure does. Which looks something like that. $5 million and change. We'll come back to that in a while. That leaves us with $500,000 to start our grind. I won't lie to you, this one's going to be pretty rough. This is going to be a lot of grinding. I honestly don't even know if I have enough time left in this day to do this. But since we need experience, we might as well work. For $1,000 an hour, we've got nothing to lose. And I should probably start remembering I have a macro now so I can go like that to press the button super fast. To help give you a little bit of perspective on this, I currently have 2,500 experience. After one full day of work... I have just under 3,000, so I'm getting not quite 500 experience per day. That means it's going to take me 7 days of this just to level up, and that's only experience. I still need to gain a bunch of strength at the same time. So what's really inspiring me right now is that all this button pressing feels like it's just unlocking more button pressing. 10,000 clicks later, I have the experience I need to hit level 70, but we gotta build up strength again. And that means more steroids. Lots of steroids. Luckily we made about $500,000 some work. We'll probably take 300 Rage Bars and 300 Super Serum. I want every click to get me the maximum amount of strength, experience, whatever, as possible. At least at this point, my job does pay me enough where I don't need to mess with all my stuff in the banks and the stocks. I can just keep going with the money I have. I apparently still have lots of spinach, so that's just fine. Even protein powder. I'm actually pretty well stocked. I'm gonna have maximum strength for the gym. I am gonna buy some sleep and energy pills. That way I wake up an hour earlier and, and wake up with an extra hour's worth of energy. I think a thousand of each should work nicely. That basically means 1,000 days of stupidity. I'm committed. This way I'm getting 25 strength per workout. That actually went a lot faster than I expected. There's level 70. So before we do anything, let's go see what our raise gets us. Wow, we're waking up at 4am now with 9 out of 10 energies. That's pretty good. We're now making $1,500 an hour. Nurse practitioner. 28 experience per click. Imagine that. And a strange bonus. Gym rat, you spent the rest of your day in the gym plus 20 strength. Okay, well, I'm already doing that, but thanks. I am also a little concerned that I don't have access to things like Costco, and there might be things in there that would really be helping expedite this process, but I just haven't unlocked it yet, so I might be doing this incredibly slow. But it just wouldn't be me if I wasn't doing things the hard way. You've just gotta take the worst ideas imaginable and make them even worse. You know, now that I actually stopped to look at things for a second, there are XP potions, intelligence, and strength potions. These all give me huge boosts, so I would really like to get a hold of those. That would make this a lot easier. Strength should get us all the way to level 75, now it's just back to that experience we love so much. I love how terrible this guy's life is. He has sleeping pills to put himself to sleep, energy pills to wake himself up. All he does is work all day. He has no joy in his life whatsoever. He lives only to make money. Which is kind of funny because he already has way more money than he needs. Okay, once I hit level 75, I'm going to find a better method for doing this. This is taking forever to do each and every level. Today's the big day, level 75. What kind of raise do we get? $3,600 an hour? That's a huge raise. Weren't we just at 15? It is giving money away. Next promotion level 80. We need a doctor for that. Luckily for us, we already did that for some reason. The biggest disappointment of all, only 29 experience per hour worked. I'm not going to do this if I can help it. I need to figure out how to get those potions, and I suspect like anything good in life, it comes from Costco. Oddly enough, the solution to all this starts with an old person. I need to find her purse. He said the car salesman took it, and maybe he put it in a box behind the hedge behind his car lot, or maybe it's in one of the cars. Good news, as I understand it, the key to getting the Costco card is in the red car. You're supposed to find it before you buy it, and I've already bought it. So what I'm gonna do is try selling it, see if it appears back in the lot and getting it there. We do have the option to sell it. We get $45,000 for that, we can just buy it back again for another 50. It did appear back on the lot. He'd interact. There we go, we got the purse. We just spent $5,000 retrieving a purse, but we'll consider that worth it. Anything to help old people, right? We'll also put the truck back because I'm not really sure why. I think that makes me travel for free, so I don't have to waste 5 or $10. Hi, Margaret, I found your purse. You're such a dear. Oh, it wasn't for you. I got it to get... For that matter, I haven't seen my cat Bolivar in some time. Did you ever think that's because you spend your days standing outside a car dealership? Okay, I will go find your dumb cat. You know where your cat probably is? At your house, where you're not. You know what dumb cat's like? Dumb trees. You rescued Bolivar. Wonder if I can sell it on a black market. Just kidding, of course I can't. No one would want to buy a cat. Next time, just get a dog. Did you find her? Yes, I did. 
Thanks again. Could you take this to my sweet Harold? Of course. He's probably worried about me and I don't have my cell phone for some reason. Of course you don't. I'll find it. Here it is. Apparently I already have it. Weird. I probably stole it. Seems my heart medication wasn't in my purse. Can you do anything for yourself? Can you go to Costco and pick up my prescription? I don't have a membership. All right. This is all I wanted. Take the card and have fun dying. This is what I've been waiting for. So far, I'm a little underwhelmed. I do like the fact that I can buy five pizzas at a time, so might as well take advantage. Okay, I really like Costco. We buy huge quantities of everything, so we'll just buy huge quantities now and then we never have to again. Unfortunately, the pharmacy doesn't have my potions I'm after. It does have heart meds, though. And I guess we can only buy that once because we only need to fix old lady once. And we have all new appliances for our house, so this is going to be helpful. Wake up with extra energy, wake up with extra energy, and wake up four hours earlier. We're not even going to be sleeping anymore. This is great. I'll take all of it. And best of all, we've got workout stuff. We can actually work out at home. Plus, you strengthen your workout at home. Are these stacked? Can we get all of them? I should have done that backwards because now I don't know. Definitely still don't have my strength potions, any of my potions, so this is still going to be a slow process. And all of that because I helped some old lady. Who knew? Alright, well, I think we're waking up at 3 a.m. with 12 out of 10 energy somehow, so that's kind of a nice touch. We're going to have all the energy in the world to keep on clicking buttons. Believe it or not, now that we have all these hours and energy in a day, we're making over $75,000 every single day, which is great. I don't really need the money. What I need more than anything is experience and strength. I still have not determined how to find the potions. I want to do that before I get too much more carried away, so we'll figure that out. But also I noticed we can just work out at home. We get 28 strength for doing that, plus 10 experience. So I'm going to build up a lot of strength doing this, and that's also going to give me some pretty decent experience all at the same time. And I don't even have to leave my house. But that's all very easy. I really need to focus on doing some quests or something, unlocking those potions. Since it worked the first time, let's help another old person. Hi Harold, here's your letter. I need to find her. In a few more hours. Yeah, you know, why wait? She's 100 feet that way. You haven't seen a briefcase lying around? Apparently I have. Not sure where I got it. Thank goodness. Now I can see why Margaret likes you so much, because I do literally everything for her. The reason I haven't gone for Margaret is I can't find my wedding ring. Here it is. Do people just scatter your stuff all over the world? Okay, seriously, how are you finding all my stuff? The same way you're losing it. That means I think I can go back to the other old person and she'll be happy and give me stuff? Give me some potions. Not that you look like you have any potions. Oh, I got your heart pills though. Have a great day. Thanks, that was totally worth my time. Well, I theorize about what to do next. I'm simply going to spend my time working out at home. This will still actually level me up decently fast. We're already out of Super Serum and Rage Bar, which is great because these things are really expensive. Since I'm in the neighborhood, this guy wants something rusty. How about another cold one? There you go. That's the... Okay, fine. It is an alcoholic. Believe it or not, just like that, it's been 100 very long days since I started this stupid idea. Remember how we invested in the stock? Well, it's always fun to take a look 100 days later and see how badly our ideas failed. What did we start with? $5 million? 5,241,000. And you know what? That's actually not too bad overall then. We made $241,000 just for owning the stock. Looking at this, the most I've ever seen a change in a day is plus 10. $10 per share would be about $55,000. That's the most we can make in a day. The stocks go up and down, but it's still pretty good. I mean, at least it's good enough to make us money, I guess. I just realized I actually built my strength up beyond even what intelligence is now. That means we're going to run out of intelligence soon too, and we'll have to build all three things up, which is going to be an absolute nightmare to do. And as fun as the stock market's been, I'm still getting better interest. As long as I'm getting 0.1%, I'm actually making more money through the bank. So at 0.1%, I would be making $6,100 every single day. Over 100 days, it would be 600000 instead of the 250000 I made in the stocks. But of course, I need some of what I'm going to call stupid money for my stupid ideas. We'll continue to work for now and just grind. But I like money. There it is, level 80. 100 extra coins to add to my collection. Not even sure what those do. We now make $7,500 an hour, so we're getting up there. That means if I'm doing my efficient days like I am, we're making $157,500 every day. And I really like that the numbers are getting so big so fast. We're going to get three more promotions. That experience, though, only 30 really hurts. This has taken a while. And since I can't seem to find any information on where to find the potions, despite the fact they do exist, we're just going to maybe work through some of the quest lines really quick to hopefully unlock some new stuff and unlock the potions. We still have another area to unlock, and I think we're probably going to need keys for that. Leave all stones unturned, whatever that means. Step number one in this great quest is apparently to get 25,000 points on this game. Which is going to look something like this, just for the next hour. And there's 25,000. Easy. Now that we have that accomplished, we apparently need to play with the sewer. We keep searching this and eventually we'll find a man. I would ask why there's a man in the sewers, but I just don't care. Who dares disturb by slumber? The diamond in the rough? You're sleeping in the sewer. You are worthy. Take the key, and there we go. Silver key. We found a bronze key in the beginning of the game in the hedge maze. 
The gold key is found in this area, but it's found at 1am. The problem with that is, it's currently 12am and we're not allowed to stay up any later than that. So it's Amazon to the rescue, apparently we need some of the stuff out of the gold box. Well, that would indicate where to get the potions from. I know we can buy them somewhere along the way too, but we got one so far. We do need a time potion for this. There's a strength potion, so that's also pretty useful. And there's the time potion, so hopefully this works the way I think it's supposed to. We eat one of these, and it's the next day suddenly. Now we walk ourselves over this thing. And there's a sound. And we follow the blue orbs. Or something? Yeah, I guess we just walk until we find more and keep walking. And hopefully they're not going to be too hard to find because I'm running out of patience very quickly. Eventually leading us into the stadium where we find the ball. And there's an alien speaking alien language. Um, what? More alien? I have no idea what you're saying. Gold key. Good enough for me. Thanks. Also, the orbs led us back here past this rock again. And I forgot about this rock. Press E to break it. You destroyed this rock. Oh. Why didn't that work before? Do we have to be a certain level? I won't ask too many questions. That leads us to this, the last paper we need for that girl. And if we run all the way up here, we find whatever this is. You received casino pass. Kitty sushi. Casino. Can we go gamble? That would be fun. But before we forget, we gotta give the pages back to one of you. This one. Final page. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. How are you doing tonight? Uh, is there anything else? You found all three keys. Yes. I don't really know what they do. Take this. You deserve it more than I do. What's this for? How do you not know about the book and have the three keys? I don't even know what the three keys are for. I was just following the guide. You better find it. Okay. So how does this casino thing work? Do I have to be here at 12 a.m. probably? I know how to make it 12 a.m. We just gotta do this a whole bunch. And we get extra money for that. 12 a.m. Do we get a casino? Yeah, basement. Thousand dollars to get in. And we had this already. So far, that all seems like a little bit of a waste of time. I did find one way to get the potions, but that's not a reliable enough way. I need to find where I can buy them, purchase them, whatever. This book apparently is a spell book. How to destroy force fields for dummies. Not really sure how or what or why. Did you know that if you're down here, you can walk behind the house that's for sale? And walk behind the house that's for sale. Which leads you to a path which takes you up this way. All the way to this. A pineapple. That's what I've been looking for for quite a while. We bring the pineapple to one of these guys. Not this one, apparently. Tony, there you go. There's your pineapple. Ah, you have the golden pineapple. Whatever you say, let's do this. Go on around back. How do I... Oh, okay, that works. Who's this guy? Is this Tony again? I haven't seen you around before. I've never seen you either. What? I'm always here. Yeah, I've never been here before. Got into a little trouble for something I said. And, anyways, you trying to buy a $5 million mansion? I sure am. Let me go get some money. How much money do I even have? We have 8 million currently. So with 2.9 left in the bank, we have 5 million on us. Money isn't really too much of an issue right now, it seems, because our jobs pay so ridiculously well, we can make that back fast. Where even is this house? Yeah, 5 million dollars, 100, leveled up. Interesting, why'd we level up for that? Whatever you do, don't look at my wardrobe. You mean my wardrobe? It's my house now, I'll do whatever I want. Did you know there's a secret menu item only available to level 5s? I didn't. Guess I shouldn't have told you that. I wonder if those are potions. Do you have any oregano? I don't. You want four of them, and I don't have that. So, I just bought a $5 million house. I don't know where it is. Apparently, it's this one. Where is this? Oh, I see. It's right by my other house. It's just over here and bigger. And it seems to have all the same stuff. It's just more expensive, but we also have a den. It requires three keys to unlock the wardrobe. Enter wardrobe? We're not allowed to go in, apparently. The reason we can't enter the wardrobe is because it's not the end of the day. It's the beginning. So, let's get through this. Enter wardrobe. Which apparently takes us to the magical forest, which is an unexpected turn of events. But I believe this is the guy we want to talk to. Son of Adam or Dodd Uh, I don't have time. This is timed. Would you like to see my wares? Yes, I would. Here's what we've been after. I only have so many coins, so we're going to have to farm some of these. But experience is definitely the hardest thing to get, so I'm going to get like 30 of these for 3,000 coins. Then maybe 10 of each of these, mostly because I don't really know. I don't have a lot of time to think about this. we got 2,400 left, so let's go another 5 of these, 5 of these, 5 of these. I guess a few time potions. These are probably good for something eventually. And we'll just uh, buy one more of those. And uh, thanks, Goatman. I'm clearly out of time for whatever I needed to do here. So uh, I'm just going to go back to grinding for a while. I only need the potions. Fun though, whatever that was. So how do these work? Do they just give me the experience? I'm at 1521? 1771. Okay, we just straight up drink them. Not really sure these are worth the coins or not. I don't know. Whatever the case, they do give me a boost. Watch this experience. Leveled up twice right there and probably got a bunch of extra experience. And we'll do the same thing here and here. Great. Level 83. Not worth it. 
Well, we're still a little bit closer to our goal, so we'll just keep on grinding away. We're not level 100 yet. Time for the big promotion. How much are we making now? $10,000 an hour. I've got to say, I am liking the money. Level 85, $10,000 an hour. What I'm not liking is the very small amount of experience we get for actually working. Since we're once again running low on all kinds of experience, I'm going to go back to the gym in my house. Simply because it can build two stats up at once. Not the greatest for experience, but strength plus experience. How could I complain? I think at this point I'm going to build up as much strength as I think I'm going to need to get all the way to level 100, then I'm going to boost the other two. Which means I need to build up about 25,000 strength, probably even a little more. And believe it or not, I actually have to go back to work for a few days because it costs so much money to take the strength supplements that I run out in a big hurry. 1.2 million dollars that actually didn't take me too long to make, we're finally making progress, so I'm going to buy some more supplements and our strength will be where it needs to be momentarily. While I'm here, I might as well also buy a bunch of this stuff because I'm gonna need it eventually. I'm honestly not even sure how to get more intelligence at this point. I already have the doctorate. I guess I probably have to learn something else. And just like that, we've gained 30,000 strength. That should be enough to get us all the way to level 100. Now we just need intelligence and experience. We did get a bit of experience, three levels worth there, so there's still gonna be a lot more work to do. I need to figure out where I can sleep and the closest way to learn something. Computer science sounds fun. That's gonna be the option because I'm pretty sure we can sleep right here. We can just run back and forth real quick. This will work out decently fast. I don't care about the degrees, diplomas, I'm mostly just here for the experience. But I also just want to see if there's anything else I can be taking to boost intelligence. Got lots of Adderall at this point because who doesn't love it? Doesn't really look like there's anything more I can be doing to boost intelligence, so I'll just live with this. It's not the end of the world, I've done worse things. Alright, after today, I think I have enough intelligence to get me all the way to level 100. I'm not sure what happened with my strength calculation. I went like three times as much as I had to. Clearly I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, now we just need experience. That should be enough to get us an extra level level. Levels, all the way up to level 100 and hopefully some kind of amazing promotion that gets us everything we want because making more money at that point wouldn't really be that fun. Money's good and all but I'm already making it at such a fast rate that getting more just doesn't matter. So for level 90 we now make $12,500 an hour because we're the hospital administrator so we get to be in charge of everything. We gotta go all the way to level 100 for the next promotion so I'll see you guys in like 4 hours. You know what since we got a build up of coins again let's go see that thing in the woods. I'm gonna need all the experience potions you have. 32, good enough. I'm really hoping these add up to a ton of experience. I'm not gonna do the math, I'm just gonna let them go. Two levels, that's actually huge progress at this point. I'm really happy about that. They gave us another 255 coins. And I made the game crash by trying to be smarter than I actually am. I wanna take one more quick look around to make sure there's nowhere else I could be getting more experience from. So far there's no viable options I'm still curious about this. I need an invitation to go there. It's an art gallery. I assume there's lots of experience to be had there but I don't know how to do it. These last 8 levels are going to kill me. Experience is the slowest thing to build. It's way slower than strength and intelligence. You know what's great about level 95? Absolutely nothing. It is a useless milestone. It doesn't even give us any extra coins to help us make this grind a little easier. Give me some of my potions before I turn you into food. Six very expensive potions get us 1500 experience which isn't even close to a single level. I've just realized there's never actually been any confirmation to me that level 100 is the max. I might be able to keep going after that and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but it's something. Well this is it. Today's the big day. Day 1462 we're gonna hit level 100 and we're gonna find out how much money we make at level 100. The first bit of good news is this seems to be max. Everything is maxed. That's that. We're now hospital CEO $15,000 an hour. So that's a little bit better than our last position as hospital administrator. Now in case you're wondering exactly how much that is in a day we'll play through a full day really quick just to show you. We had zero dollars this morning because I deposited all my money and working a pretty productive day 315,000. $315,000 per day. That's definitely the most I've ever been able to make in this game in a single day. Which is great because I can add that to my current 21.5 million and buy absolutely nothing with it.